Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new tutorial. This video involves the new HomeKit component uh, that they just rolled out in Home Assistant. I think it came out in uh, 0.64. Uh, it's not 100% functional yet, but it's getting pretty close. And I think by you know 0.66, it should be uh, pretty much all the way there. This video is going to show you how to remove the existing home bridge and basically set everything up for the new HomeKit component in Home Assistant. So let's do a quick run through of what we're going to cover in this video. Uh, we're going to start by stopping and disabling the uh, HomeBridge service. And obviously if you don't have the HomeBridge service as it stands right now, you can go ahead and skip past the first couple of steps and move on to the next part. Uh, once we've disabled that HomeBridge service, we're going to go ahead and remove HomeBridge. Uh, once HomeBridge is removed, then we're ready to add the new HomeKit component into Home Assistant. Uh, once Home Assistant is restarted, we will then, of course, add Home Assistant into the Apple Home app on your phone. And then, of course, lastly, I'll show you what that kind of looks like in action. So let's get started. Like I said, for starters, we're basically going to stop that existing HomeBridge service. So we'll do a sudo systemctl stop HomeBridge. Um, then we're going to go ahead and disable it. All right, once all that's done, I'm going to go ahead and remove that service file since I'm not using HomeBridge anymore anyway. So I'll do a sudo rm slash etsy slash systemd slash system slash homebridge dot service and of course I'll put all this in the description so you can just copy and paste it once that part is done we're going to go ahead and uninstall homebridge since I'm using Hasbian, there's not an easy way to just go ahead and uninstall HomeBridge. Uh, so I'm going to delete the uh, user bin HomeBridge. So I'm going to do a sudo rm slash user slash bin uh, slash HomeBridge. Uh, once we do that, then I'm going to go ahead and remove the HomeBridge user account and home directory as well. So we do that by doing a sudo su dash, so we're going to switch to our root user account. From there, I'm going to do a user del, so user delete, dash r, homebridge. And basically what that should do is that should remove the home directory and everything else, uh, as well as the user. So at this point, homebridge is gone. Now we're ready to add the HomeKit component into Home Assistant. So obviously we do that by editing our configuration.yaml. I'm gonna find an open spot down here at the bottom. Uh, the name of the HomeKit component, of course, is HomeKit. From there, all you need is a pin code. I store mine in my secrets.yaml file, so I'll just put that in there. Once you have that, we're going to go ahead and save it and uh, restart Home Assistant for the changes to take effect. Give that a second to come back up. Now we are ready to add Home Assistant into our Apple Home app. All right, we start by uh, hitting Add Accessory down at the bottom. Uh, from there, then we're gonna say don't have a code or can't scan. So that's a link down at the bottom. Um, if everything is set up correctly, you should see Home Assistant listed there. We're gonna click on that. It's gonna pop up and say uncertified accessory. That's okay, just say add anyway. Now we're going to enter that pin code that we created earlier. It should start pulling in all of our Home Assistant devices. So 
So it found like 33 devices right off the bat. So of course you can scroll through here and add all those. You have the option to go ahead and uh, assign room numbers and all that stuff to them if you want. You can also do that later by editing it. I'll of course go ahead and fast forward through this so we're not just sitting around waiting for me to go through all of these devices. Lastly, just kind of show you what that looks like in action. So of course I have a home assistant pulled up here and then I also have my Apple home app open as well. Uh, so I just want to show you that they are kind of synced together. I'm just going to play around with uh, my uh, living room fan and just show you that uh, when I turn it off in one, it does actually turn off in the other, so they are synced together. So obviously I'm gonna, i got my ceiling fan going there. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And as you can see, it turned it off in Home Assistant. Let's do one more test and go ahead and turn it back on. We'll click on that in the Home app. And of course it turned back on in Home Assistant as well. All right guys, that's the end of this video. Um, you know, not a whole lot to it just yet. And like I said, HomeKit is not fully functional in Home Assistant, but uh, hopefully will be very soon. Let's go ahead and do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. We of course started by stopping and disabling our current HomeBridge service. Once we did that, we were able to remove all of the home bridge from our existing uh, configuration. Once home bridge was gone, we were able to add the new Apple HomeKit component into Home Assistant. After I restarted Home Assistant and it came back up, I then added Home Assistant into the Apple Home app on my phone. And then of course, lastly, I just kind of showed you what that looked like in action. Like I said, guys, that is the end of this video. Um, I hope it helped. Uh, if you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something to put together for you guys. Thanks a lot.